We're talking a little bit about parenting and child relationships when a child becomes a teenager. And one thing you want to know is when your child becomes a teenager, they are really a different human being than who you've had from zero to 12 years old. They've gone through so many experiences and they're now no longer brand new experiences. Now this is about, gee, I've learned this and now I'm going to master it. So to some degree, every time you interact with them, you're used to them being between the ages of zero and 12. So you're not quite accustomed to their uh, assertion that they know what they're doing. On the other hand, the only way they're gonna really move into mastery of certain things is for they to be able to experience that they in fact can do things. Now some parents are very pro teenager, become independent, take care of things, doing the initiative. Some parents are very pushy, oh come on, you should be able to do in all this. And some are very calmly, well, let me do this for you because they begin to feel the separation that's beginning to occur and they begin to miss the person. And what I'm trying to illustrate by that is I gave you three different types of parenting responses to teenagers. And the truth is, is that you're, as a parent, you are going to have your own experiences of your teenager as it relates to your own feelings about who you are, what your connection with them is, what it feels like to have them be growing and getting on their own, having their own independent identity and personality, and nonetheless dependent on you to take care of so many things in their life. This is a very awkward time for everybody involved because it moves between the very dependent eating you to uh, very independent. And this is not like they're one way or another way all the time. It's constantly allowing for this kind of springing action between the two so that they're neither punished for being dependent and they're not punished for being independent. By punished, I mean they're not given a lot of negative energy, they're given understanding. Most kids, when they're tra trained or taught that every discipline or every intent that you have has a reason to it and that you're a reasonable parent and that the world is relatively reasonable and that they can respond relatively relatively reasonably to circumstances. They can be emotional but they'll rely on the reasonableness of the situation. That what you request or what you want has a reasonableness in it. If you were not raised by reasonable parents that may feel a little odd to you. Perhaps if you were raised by parents that were very hands off or very authoritarian. You may feel as if you're not going to be respected unless you give an order and it is received as an order with obedience. On the other hand, obedience usually is about an oppressed child or usually is about a frightened child or usually is about a child that knows that they don't have any rights to have their own independent identity and they'll go elsewhere away from you to go have their independent identity. So you might begin to replace if you have been parenting with this authoritarian, do what I say with, uh, this is what I recommend, this is the reason behind it, your choices are yours, what are, what are the choices you think are best for you? And that way you're reasoning with them, giving them choices, but also trying to slant them always in the direction of what's best for them. That you are there investing in their well-being is exactly where you need to be, and that they are investing their energies and times in their well-being as well, exactly where they want to be. And so to add to that is don't forget that as your child becomes more capable of contributing to the team of the family, let them contribute, encourage them to contribute, and remind them that you know what, we are a team. And the better that every person plays their part on this team, the better the team will function. So that we all have to contribute, including you, including them. So with all that in mind, digest it and come back to the next video. See you soon.